Uh, welcome, friends. Today in this session, we have a discussion on focus group interviews. So let us see what is focus group interviews and what actually is expected from a focus group interview. Uh, this is an interactive interview conducted by a trained moderator in an unstructured manner with a small group of respondents. Here some key words are very important. First is that it is interactive. That is uh, where the and the participants are a group of people, not an individual people. So during the focus group interview, the participants can interact with each other and give their opinion uh, in their own way. And the entire situation will be controlled by a trained moderator. He knows why this interview is conducted and what is, uh, shall be the outcome of the interview. The interview insight is developed uh, by the researcher by listening to the group of people engaged in a discussion on a particular and focused topic. So the researcher listens to the discussion and from this discussion he builds his knowledge or he uh, collects some information and the entire process of information is collected by the researcher by listening to this particular group discussion or the focus group interview. Yeah, the topic will be a very focused topic and the people selected for the purpose should be somewhere related, has some relation to the concerned topic. Uh, such a free-flowing group discussion shall lead to some interesting findings or clues about the topic which is under discussion, research, it is also used for consumer uh, surveys. So in such case, uh, the uh, people who participate in the group discussion actually gives a lot of input about the product on, or the services on which the discussion is going on. So these are not some open-ended, closed or closed-ended questions which are developed by the researchers and uh, placed for the respondent to respond, but here even the uh, type of discussion, the direction in which the discussion moves, the opinion, uh, the likes, the dislikes, everything comes into act and everything is noted down by the uh, researcher. Now this is, let us look at that, uh, who actually coined the term focus group interview and who actually gave it a formal shape and uh, we have here, uh, it was introduced, this focus group was introduced or rather coined the term focus group interview and uh, this was done by Ernest Bista uh, as it is pronounced and uh, in the year 1940 and uh, he was an American uh, psychologist and a market expert, initially a professor of psychology uh, but uh, uh, later on he became a, a marketing expert. And uh, he actually promoted that the Freudian concepts uh, of human nature can be explained, uh, can explain the consumer behavior. So he tried an attempt and uh, made it successfully and was promoting it throughout the later part of his life that uh, how the Freudian theory of uh, human nature can explain the consumer behavior. And he is called as the father of motivational research. Uh, motivational research is a type of marketing research that attempts to explain why consumers behave uh, and uh, this motivational research seeks to discover and comprehend what customers do not fully understand about, uh, do not fully understand about themselves. Uh, you must have also noticed that in certain cases, when you go to a market to purchase something, you think of purchasing some of the items, but when you are actually in the field of marketing, then actually you come across several other goods uh, uh, which you might uh, require at some future date where or might be useful to you and you actually end up purchasing more things that you intended to do. And that's why you will find that many of the uh, modern uh, business houses instead of keeping the products with the shopkeeper actually puts it on a display so that the customer can move around and pick up the things from the rack. Actually, this gives a bigger display of all the products that the particular uh, person is having in the shop. So that the display is maximum. And so actually the sale will also increase. However, when you go to a traditional shop where a shopkeeper asks what actually you want to purchase, uh, there you can only purchase those things which are there in the list because there are very less scope of display. And so these are some things on in which marketing research uh, 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 with a subdomain of uh, motivational research 
works uh, performed in order to find out that uh, how customers feel, uh, what they do, and while they are in the field of marketing, how impulsive buying influences their buying behavior. And the father of this entire concept where was Ernest Dicta. Uh, and uh, this time his uh, professor Dicta in his work actually promoted or coined the term focus group interview, which is today we are going to study. Uh, prior to focus group interview, all market surveys was quantitative. They were actually understood from the different data related to sales or profit features or expenditure towards advertisement and what is the impact on sale like this. All matters are really data driven and were uh, quantitative in nature. Uh, but uh, with uh, the or, or through surveys which were conducted on people with a closed set of uh, questions. That means questions are there and all the options are be, be, uh, below the questions are also set up. And the researcher needs to place it in such a way that it is a researcher driven opinion. That whatever opinion researcher wants, that could only be given by the uh, person who is in survey. That is, the respondent can give response only to the questions that are placed before him or her by the researcher. So that was how marketing survey was performed before the entry of focus group interview. But with focus group interviews coming in, uh, the person interview started interviewing small groups. Here researcher is now interviewing a small, small group of persons simultaneously, not separately one after another, but simultaneously, and not actually interviewing, he is uh, putting before some of the uh, points on which he wants the discussion to take place. And then the direction of discussion uh, is in control by the group. Obviously, there is some, uh, as I told earlier, that the entire group discussion takes place under a moderator. Just moderator actually uh, sees that there is no overlapping of words or the same point is not being told uh, by two different people uh, giving the same similar type of opinion so that more number of opinion come. And all the topics which are supposed to be discussed are actually uh, uh, discussed by the group within the specified time limit. There is no unnecessary argument between the participants of the group. So this is what is the role of the moderator. Uh, but the opinion is uh, of the consumer who are actually participating in the group discussion. Uh, now, when uh, this was uh, becoming quite popular uh, in the late 40s, uh, the advertising industry found that it is actually a very interesting thing from, for, from their point of view, so that when the group discussion takes place, they can understand what people expect from their product, what are the things that their product uh, should uh, figure. And accordingly, they also started to design their advertisement in that uh, particular way in which the direction of the discussion took. In addition to that, they also try to bring some changes in the product so that it can match the requirement of the group uh, as vivid uh, in the when the discussion was taking. So keeping this in mind, uh, group discussion is not about the percentage of people who like a particular product or why they like a particular uh, dislike a particular product. What are the features uh, that should be there in the product? Not in terms of percentage, but it is to tell the reason why people prefer the product. This is very important, that what are the reasons why they prefer the particular product or what are the reasons why they dislike a particular product. A particular product may be otherwise good, but it may be disliked because of its packaging. Uh, packaging. For example, sometimes some product might not be that good, but its packaging is so much handy and uh, portable that people may like only for its packaging. So slight uh, variation or slight uh, compromise they make with the quality because of some other reason like packaging. So these type of things comes in the discussion, comes out in the group discussion in case of focus group interview. It also depicts the subconsciousness and unconsciousness reasons, the reasons behind uh, those preferences. Now people prefer something because of several reasons, some reasons might be even hidden. Like some unconscious or subconscious reasons might be there in the mind of people which make them prefer a particular product. Uh, for example, suppose some person might be that he or she is using a product from his childhood because he has seen his parents is using the same product. So as the parents are using the same product, so accordingly he also uses the same, the same product. Uh, 
uh, I did not try for any other product, but went on actually uh, uh, for this particular product. So that is uh, the purpose of this particular set. Uh, okay. Now this uh, sometimes in the group discussions takes place in the form of a focus group interview. Such subconscious and unconscious visions are expressed by people. People start expressing them. And they even maybe that uh, someone else is telling a particular topic or a particular reason. And this person might be thinking that, well, that is also my criteria. I also have this thing in mind when I do the purchase. I also use the product because I have seen my parents using the same product. And that is the reason I did not try any other product of similar uh, type. So this type of thing gets honored. And this is some very interesting thing which other type of <coughs> so other type of subject could not so now let us look at uh, some more things about focus group interviews that why focus group interviews has become so popular it helps to generate new ideas about the product so this is a very interesting aspect for marketers when uh, from a focus group interview they come to know about some new ideas about their product, that yes, the product is this along with the product, is, it would have been uh, giving a supplement of this and it would have been better. For example, uh, in, in a mobile phone, you must have seen that there are a lot of things available in the, available in the mobile phone. I am not speaking about the internet connectivity, but I am seeing about say a lamp clock is there in the mobile phone, a torch is there in the mobile phone, even watch is there in the mobile phone. So even if you go out earlier without watch, it was very difficult. But now, uh, with the mobile phone in your pocket, you have the watch with you. When you go somewhere earlier, we used to carry, uh, everyone used to carry an alarm clock. So at odd hours, you might have to wake up uh, for your flight or for your, take your train. But uh, now with the mobile phone coming in, all alarm clock is already there. So these new ideas have come to some such type of discussion. Where people expected that, well, if there is a mobile phone, there should be an audio system in the mobile phone, there should be an alarm clock in the mobile phone, there should be a, some, some mobile phone are providing with different types of uh, medical uh, parameters measured like uh, heartbeat, uh, like oxygen level, etc. So these things are coming in, in the mobile phone and several others. This might have been uh, a product from any such uh, type of focus group. So it gives us new ideas how the product can be developed. It provides this, uh, uh, deeper insight about the habit of customer. Now when uh, the group discussion takes place, people will speak about their habit and why they uh, want a particular product, what they seem uh, to do and when they travel, what they expect from the product, uh, what type of things they additional they want from the product. So these type of uh, deeper insights and they express about their habit so that becomes vivid in case of focus group interview. Another interesting aspect of focus group interview, which actually uh, in his uh, uh, he conducted a focus group interview on what girls wanted about their dog. That was an interesting process. They want dog, a company actually uh, approached him to conduct a focus group interview. That what? should be there in a dog. Earlier it was just uh, what the company thought, that okay, let us make a teddy bear. So teddy bear should be like this, it should be, and then let us make a dog, dog should have this type of feature. Now a company approached uh, uh, this way with the idea that they wanted to find out that what, for, to perform a marketing, market survey on what uh, they, the consumers wanted uh, in a dog, what girls wanted in their dog. And uh, he conducted focus group interview. The result of the focus group interview is a modern day Barbie doll. That was actually the result of a focus group interview. So how Barbie doll should look like, how it should dress up, and that was a concept coming out from the focus group interview. And uh, when we look into a product, there are actually multiple aspects of the product and the relative importance are revealed in such a study. We have multiple aspects uh, of the product and what are the relative importance. So these things coming together make the uh, study uh, more interesting, makes the output of, output of a focus group interview more interesting. That well, 
a product is there which has multiple dimensions and uh, out of these dimensions which are more important which are less uh, relatively less important or some product might attach something to itself which is not at all of any use so this type of things might also happen that you can for attaching that particular attribute or that particular feature might be expensive also or might have increased the cost price of the manufacturing price of the particular product but ultimately the usage of that particular thing is very negligible this might also happen like this for example let me take as take an example that when you look at a television television a multiple aspect of the products are considered when we purchase a television we look at the picture quality we look at the quality of sound we look at the type of connectivity uh, that uh, this particular uh, uh, this particular uh, television is having with other devices like does it have a hdmi port does it have a usb port does it have a sound output port uh, so all these things are looked at in that particular product now uh, one particular person may or a focus group interview may result that if an hdmi cable is there uh, along with the television then it is better so that i can connect to those devices that support hdmi port for example i want to connect, connect my uh, laptop with the television so that the uh, contents of the laptop can see over seen over in the television uh, we can actually attract a bigger audience now in, in i have to purchase because neither the laptop provides an hdmi cable for free nor a television provides a hdmi cable for free and hdmi cable as you know is very expensive uh, relative to other cable so if there is such a cable then it would have been better so i i think that in such a if such things comes in a group discussion then some people might uh, some companies may take it up and provide hdmi cable along with the television uh, charge a little bit more but give in the advertisement that we will get we will be provided with hdmi cable also now this the usb port has become relatively less important for a television because most of the devices are connected to hdmi port and uh, most of the smartphones these days provide uh, mirror scanning so that uh, there is smart viewing option so whatever things are going in your mobile that thing can be viewed in the television uh, so in such cases uh, the, and uh, mostly uh, these um, movies and all these things uh, through uh, usb uh, usb ports are less uh, lesser in use so usb port might not be that important for the television now in a tv putting a usb port is definitely an expensive feature because you need to have a circuit also for that and the port is not enough but that increases the expenditure of the television now when you discuss how these things comes into the discussion the marketers understand the things in a, in their own way that they need to understand and they understand what are the products which is expected the, what are the features that is expected by the customer from a product and out of the features that are necessary uh, which of them are actually useful and by how, how much they are useful. so these are the different aspects uh, that a focus group interview is expected to provide and uh, going back to the going to the next slide let us look at how it works actually first thing is that in a focus group interview the objective is determined suppose i want to perform a focus group interview on uh, child food what the food children take Uh, infant uh, food. Uh, so in that case, I need to find out that if I want to conduct a group discussion on this topic, that what mothers actually expect to give to their child or which uh, 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 food food uh, they prefer for their children, uh, then uh, they might be having some idea that what type of mothers I should consider. But before that, uh, you will decide about the objective. That what all things you want to know about the infant uh, food. What all things you want to know. You want to have a discussion on the product availability in the market. You want to have a discussion on the difficulties of uh, preparing food at home, other than those packed food. Uh, or you want to have a discussion about all of them. Or you want to discuss have a discussion on which uh, the um, preference of the children. because they may not like any type of food served to them because they 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 have their taste buds so they will go on with that all children may not like it, the same type of food uh, so there might will be definitely difference in taste 
some people might be uh, some children may be even prefer prefer to take uh, food uh, like what the adult people are taking so all these things uh, should be there in the discussion if that is to be determined by the uh, researcher at the beginning so these are the areas of that i am covered and this my focus group interview will cover this type of uh, objective so this is determined by after determining these uh, objectives of the study he will hire an uh, hire an moderator and there will be discussion between the researcher and moderator researcher will tell the moderator that these are the things that we want that should come out from the new discussion so moderator is quite clear about the things on which the discussion should move and sometimes the researcher prepares a note and supplies it to the moderator so the moderator knows that these are the topics which are to be covered this is on which the discussion should take place these are the points on which i need more in depth uh, information that is the researcher need more in depth information and then he get the entire picture clear before him. so moderator also in some cases the researcher becomes a moderator but generally moderator is a different person so that it gives researcher ample time to collect the information when the discussion is going on so everything are generally recorded is the participation of the participant of the focus group interview uh, video recording is done being done but even then uh, the researcher generally uh, does not participate directly uh, in a focus group interview but the variants are there sometimes researcher may become the moderator sometimes sometimes the researcher may not be the moderator but one of the participants of the discussion sometimes the researcher may be a participant of the discussion without the knowledge of the other group members that he is the researcher so all these things are there now there are uh, generally 6 to 10 participants less than 6 it is found that the group is too small and the interactions may not take place and more than 10 it becomes a crowd and uh, uh, so it is may be difficult to control by a, a particular moderator uh, some books write write that it should be a Eight to twelve, also in some books I found. Participants are selected based on specialized criteria matching the research object. Now, what happens here? You see, now suppose I want to perform a group discussion on or a focus group interview on baby. Now, I want the different types of mother. I want a mother who is actually coming from a humble background who could not uh, afford to purchase all sophisticated uh, child food that are available in the market. and i may have a well to do housewife also who has is a housemaker spends time at home uh, she can afford to prepare some of the uh, desi food which are served to the children but for which some amount of preparation time is more she may also prefer some pet food which, in which the children might prefer and which are easier to cook ready to eat type like sir like and all there might be a mother who is a working mother who has to go to work also she has small babies so she has to manage everything in a small span of time there might be a child nutritionist child nutritionist uh, who actually knows that what type of food is good for the children and which practice is not good uh, for the growth of the child so that when the discussion takes place all the aspects are covered but all this selection of individuals from different satisfying different criteria are generally depends on the objective of the survey that when you perform the survey what are your objective which all things you want to be covered in the focus group interview so that actually determines the entire thing uh, during the session the participants are asked on different aspects of the product if it is a marketing survey different aspects of the product or maybe if it is a new issue suppose uh, like uh, say we have a uh, issue of a uh, workplace readiness workplace readiness i want a group discussion on workplace readiness that what is workplace readiness why is it important uh, so i cover different people so it then that is on the issue but um, generally when marketers conduct the focus group interviews they are more interested on different aspects of their product now this is uh, the moderator actually sees that all the different aspects of the product or all the different aspects of the issue can be covered with the time span 
giving sufficient time for discussion to flow it because if you start a topic and then go to another topic within a few minutes then the discussion might not flow discussion with the discussion forces you will you are start participating in the discussion uh, once twice right then many of the small small aspects and detail and in depth study can be done about the product so this is the reason for it uh, the group may also be show some video or some picture or told some story and ask to react uh, relate to that or ask to react on that so that the emotional uh, reaction of the participants can also be noted uh, by the researcher uh, this type of uh, videos movies or stories or pictures actually give some uh, useful information to the researcher how the participants are feeling about the product or about the situation so this is how the entire focus group interview is what now if we want to see a road map of the focus group interview first is that the moderator starts with a welcome note that he welcomes all the participants of the focus group interview he gives some idea about the technicalities of the thing that how it will go that i will first introduce the topic and then i will expect all of you to participate if you don't want to participate in a particular question or a particular topic of the entire group discussion one or two topics you may skip it and it may start in the clockwise direction or in the anti clockwise direction or in a random manner all things that are discussed will be done under the camera the camera will do the recording of all these things so that we can later on use for this for our research purpose of the research and whatever discussions will take place here will not be made public it will be very personal video so all these discussions will take place uh, and this will be done by the moderator once this is done then the moderator will introduce the participants one by one or the, uh, there may be self introduction also and there will be some warm up session in the warm up session a very general discussion will start on the product or on the topic say it is about a particular company's particular cell phone but uh, the topic may start that okay uh, i think all of you are using cell phones so do you feel that cell phone is an essential commodity for today so not very specific a general discussion where everyone can speak something somewhat as that okay no i don't think that uh, mobile phone is that important and it is better while the days when mobile phone was not there it is it has become a big headache so this way also people can uh, put up their point so this is a warm up discussion so once warm up takes place now everybody is free to discuss no each other uh, because they are already been introduced now the opening comments of the participants starts that okay this is now this is a particular product on which we want a discussion and uh, so uh, they start uh, opening up one by one and from topic to topic so if, if something is related to the battery backup of the cell phone and then he, after that the uh, after that the moderator may tell okay now let us discuss uh, about the connectivity features of this uh, mobile phone or operational easiness of the mobile phone so he will take you to one to from one topic to another but giving the group sufficient time to discuss on each of these so he will create an environment in which smoothly the discussion takes place as he switches from one topic to another it should not be like that that people have many things to say about a particular topic but the, uh, but the moderator suddenly takes him to another topic uh, this uh, obviously on the same in the same group uh, same same focus group interview uh, objective wise discussion by the participants to take place it is the responsibility of the moderator to see that all the objectives or all the aspects that were noted down earlier or the note that was passed to him by the researcher are covered in the group discussion and obviously everything has to be under a time limit so that constraint and uh, constraint time constraint is always there so maybe it's an one hour focus group interview then the uh, moderator has to see that all the topics are moderately covered within this one hour so he takes the control over all these things and takes uh, a view and watches that everything is discussed after he thinks that everything or more or less discuss what was uh, actually expected from the uh, group discussion uh, he brings up the concluding remarks of the entire uh, focus group interview and he highlights 
uh, and sums up uh, the main uh, opinion that the group has given to him during the, in the process of the focus group interview. So this is very interesting. So that job is not very easy. That he has to moderate. In addition to that, he also has to note down all these things. In some cases, there are two moderators. This is a uh, variant of uh, the basic focus group interview. There are two moderators. One moderator is doing uh, the job of moderating people, uh, controlling them, uh, throwing the topic one after another. And another moderator is actually noting down what are the main discussions under each of the objective or in, under each of the topic. So once this is done, then there should be a thanking and closing session which is done by the moderator. So this is how focus group interview uh, goes on in action. Now let us look at some variants of the focus group interview. First variant is the researcher himself or herself is a moderator. This we had little bit discussion. Here we have a photograph also. You see some people are in a focus group interview and the researcher, he tells that I am the researcher, the purpose of uh, my research is this and I have, uh, I am conducting the focus group interview because I want to have a discussion on these, these things and so I request all of you to kindly participate in the focus group interview. So this he introduced herself as, uh, as a researcher, herself is the moderator. Two moderators take opposite side deliberately. This is an interesting situation where there are two moderators as you can see in the photographer, uh, photograph, sorry, moderator one and moderator two. And the group uh, discussion or focus group interview is going on. Moderator one is speaking about in favor of a particular issue. Moderator two is speaking against the particular issue. So that they want that the house should be divided and we want some points in favor and some points against the product or some points in favor of the issue, some points against the issue. And so deliberately they are actually motivating the group to take any one of the sides. Uh, obviously some member of the group other than the moderator can remain neutral also. They may speak in both sides, highlighting the good and bad things of both uh, in favor and against. So that well, also there is no pressure on the other members of the focus group interview, but they are actually deliberately making an attempt to uh, bring this out. Two moderators, uh, one controls the station and other sees that different issues are covered. Here also there are two moderators, but the purpose is different. One will control the station and one sees that the different issues are covered or actually notes down the different issues. So these two, uh, num point number two and point number three, they are not same actually. Both are having two moderators, but the purpose of the two moderators are different in number two and number three. A researcher is hidden in the group unknown to other participants. So actually this is a group discussion going on or a focus group interview is going on. This is the researcher. But no one else other than the moderator knows that he or she is the researcher. So she is doing the work, uh, noting down all the purposes. Uh, she is also guiding or taking the, the taking the actually discussion in some direction which she wants that people should discuss about that. So that is uh, researcher herself is present uh, without the knowledge of other participants. Entire process, process is noted by researcher through a one-way mirror. That means here group discussion is going on. Uh, so group discussion is going on. But here you see the researchers are actually standing out here. Researchers are in this uh, particular part and uh, they are they are actually uh, noting down through a mirror. So this is uh, a way in which uh, the researcher, researcher uh, group Focus group interview is going on, but the researcher is sitting out and noting down all these things and through a one-way mirror, that means these people, the uh, people participating, they don't know that there is a uh, someone who is behind the glass, behind the one-way glass, uh, who are actually taking note of that, so that, they, that, so that they can be free. Participants are provided with some keypad for gauging the group opinion. That means they are, all of them are provided with some notepads or some notebooks or laptops where they can also express their opinion on different aspects in voting either in favor or against. So this is somewhat like a uh, consumer poll, but here the group is very small. So on different aspects, discussion may take place and after that they may do the voting. So these are different variants of a focus group interview. Now let us look at the, some of the advantages of focus group interview. It provides wide range of information, ideas compared to 
individual interviews privately. So here, obviously, because there is so open-ended, people can discuss, discuss together. So more when people discuss in a group, more points come up than an individual putting his point of view. One uh, person's response usually triggers a chain of comments from others. Maybe one side of the product or one side of the issue is not at all uh, realized by others. But when one person gives an expression on that, then others also think that yes, yes, on that point I also have many things to tell. So this type of actually gives more in-depth, more informative uh, type of studies. Are. When the feelings of people are similar, they participate with more comments and opinions. Uh, individuals are not required to react to all questions or situations, not necessary. In some of the surveys, you must have seen that question and type survey, all the questions are compulsory. But some questions might be that you don't want to answer, you don't know the answer at all. But you have to put some opinion, otherwise you are not allowed to go forward, especially in electronic service. But in your focus group interviews, one particular agenda, you are not interested to put any discussion or you have no opinion at all, you must keep that. There can be flexibility in the way in which the topic is covered and in-depth information can be uh, covered through this. Since the number of people interviewed uh, quickly are interviewed quickly, so the time for data collection is minimal. Because in one focus group, uh, 8 to 12 people participate, so within an hour, you know the opinion of 8 to 12 people on that, uh, of, the, of the entire group. So that way it takes a little bit of time. Let us look at the disadvantages. Uh, participants are sometimes aware that, okay, our activities are monitored because the moderator will tell that we are under camera surveillance, so whatever discussion which takes place will happen under a camera, so some people may restrict their words. They may feel that, okay, not uh, be very, uh, tell something which is very personal or something which might make me unpopular in the group. So, difficulty of generalizing the result, since the discussion is taking place in a small group, a uh, focus group interviews are not for the purpose of generalization. They are, they are not actually uh, exploratory type of research. Sorry, they are actually exploratory type of research. They are not competitive type of research. That means with the focus group interview, you can explore many things on which probably there was no previous studies or uh, some, things which, uh, some things which are not very discussed or surveyed. So it will give you an overview. It will give you deeper insight also. But you cannot generalize the results. Uh, there are some social pressure. In a group, when people discuss in a group, sometimes there, are so, there is social pressure. I may not express it fully because I may feel shy on some of the topics. I may not be uh, comfortable on discussing with some topics with several people. So, there is some social pressure because I always think that what other people might think. My idea might not be well accepted by others. So, if I give a new idea, uh, it may fall flat. So, these type of social pressure are there. The interviewer, interviewer or moderator shall be specially trained as he or she has to interview or moderate a group. That means it is not a matter of anyone to become a moderator. Moderator is a skilled person. He requires proper training. He requires proper understanding of the problem. As good as the researcher, almost as good as the researcher, he has to understand the problem. So, uh, getting a good moderator is not that easy. The result of the focus group interview shall not be considered as a sole basis of decision making. So, it cannot be uh, used for decision making. It gives deeper insight, okay, that may help you to conduct more stringent surveys, uh, but uh, these should not be used for decision making. The processes remain the same over the years. So, this has not changed much over the years. Uh, technology is relatively not so much being used other than video recording. And uh, the entire uh, topic uh, is uh, prepared based on two uh, particular work. Uh, one is the famous book of Marketing Research and Applied Orientation by Mangopra and the sixth edition and another YouTube video, the link of which is uh, provided here. So, thank you for watching this video. I expect uh, some questions from you, detailed questions once we are in the live classes, you will have. Thank you for watching.